you get a billion dollars if you can start a massive argument at your family's Thanksgiving dinner. What's your game plan? I just won a billion dollars, and I don't think I'm going to share it with any of you. I just won a billion million dollars, and I don't think I'm going to share it with any of you. Once you win, tell them you had to get an argument going, and that you'd be evenly dividing the whole million dollars with everyone there. No one needs to know about the other 999 million dollars, and you look like a generous saint. Say you won 2 million. After all the argument shit, tell them you'll give each 100k. Then give everyone a million individually, but tell them to keep it a secret. That way they'll think they're special, and you'll still have over 900 million left. Even brilliant wire. Invite my sister. That's it. Last time it got low level violent, after about 90 minutes. Edit, lots of you asking about the violence. I pushed her away from me, because she was in my face, nose to nose, trying to get me to react to her tantrum. Then she attacked me, so I did a panic jelly kick to the shin. There's a massive backstory around my sister's behavior towards me and my parents, but it's too long to go into here. I have one of those too. Me three. Whenever I'm a bother, whenever I've had fun, whenever I have pained my pa with something that I've done, whenever I'm a worry, whenever I'm a mess, whenever I have marred my ma, or made her second guess, whenever I'm in trouble, a total shame to see, I just invite my sister round, to take the heat off me. Who made this dry ass macaroni and cheese? Edit, thanks so much for the awards. I'm glad we could all have a good laugh. Here's my favorite mac and cheese recipe. So you just want to be stabbed by your auntie ha? My father's many divorces, and how my sister is following in his footsteps, and that's why he cares about her, and her kid more than he does me and mine. Honestly, it's real fucking easy to start a fight. That's just the easiest way. Insert anything political here and that's the last family meeting. Tell everyone they'll each get a million, but first they must share some dark secrets of any family members. Damn this is somehow the most savage one, full chaos. I don't know if anyone makes it out alive after this one. This isn't even start an argument level anymore. This is full on destroy the entire family level. With a billion dollars, you can buy yourself a new one. A better one. With my family? Hi edit, thanks. Apparently lots of folks think I'm their relative. How dare you say that Mathurfica. I feel like a Mathurfica would make any Thanksgiving tense. Especially if you call your brother that. Mother, calm down, there's enough of me for everyone. So Thanksgiving is the same, but I get a billion dollars? Best Thanksgiving ever. I just have to make sure my cousin and I are both there. She's vegan, I'm a black sheep, and all our relatives are extremely judgmental. That should do it, but if it takes too long I'll mention feminism. I'll mention feminism ahh shit here we go again. Talk about politics. Easiest billion dollars ever. Impeach Trump and sit back and watch. So, how about Trump? Greatest Christian president, ever, or what? If I say that at the table, the rest of my family might think that I have a brain tumor or something. If I said this, I think some of them might unironically agree with me. Leave fake DNA test letter on the dinner table. This is a little bit different, but in my case I wouldn't actually have to lie. When my grandfather was in the military, he knocked up some girl in Vietnam. A little while ago it was revealed when my mom and aunts, her brothers and sisters, got phone calls from this organization that helps those find their lost parents. It sounds kind of fake, but it turned out to be legit. My grandfather knows too, and she tried to send him pictures and ask about her family in America, but my grandfather blocked her out. And he made everyone else promise to not tell my grandmother, since at the time she wasn't in good shape. Now she's better, and she still doesn't know but everyone else does. I feel like she should, but I'm not really in contact with my family anymore, but that's another story.
So for me all I'd have to do, is drop that bomb on the table and walk away. Edit, holy crap this really blew up. All of you guys saying I should, man would I love to, but I'm not really in contact with my family anymore. They are on all kinds of levels fucked, and so I've mostly cut contact. And I'm not invited to Thanksgiving dinner, so I couldn't do it then. I don't know though, now that I'm remembering this, I might still spill the news somehow, they all hate me already, and I think my grandmother should know, if everyone else does. And maybe once it's out in the open there'll be no reason, to have no contact with her. Well see. If I had that situation, I'd be all over meeting my Vietnamese relatives despite grandpa's objections. I actually have talked to them, and kept in touch through Facebook, my aunt is so sweet and my cousins are awesome people. Some of them speak English too so that's really cool. I'm hoping I can meet them all in person one day if I'm lucky. And I've had my own problems with my family in the past, and they already don't care for a lot of the things I do, so I don't really care that they don't want me talking to my new relatives overseas. The master play would be to fly them in for Thanksgiving. It is a family meal right? This is free money. My opinion on literally any book, show or current event will define. The only way I can fuck it up is if I stay silent. Game of Thrones didn't really come into its own until the last two episodes. Those are what elevated it. Flawless character motivations and reactions. Damn. Are you trying to start an argument, or a war? They are trying to die. Yeah mom so we've decided we aren't going to vaccinate our baby when he's born. And you could even say we've decided to vaccinate our son on a slower schedule. Or you could put the cherry on the cake, and tell them you not only aren't going to vaccinate, but a group of local homeschoolers have chicken pox, so you've decided practicing herd immunity, by exposing your infant would be the safest and most effective method against further infection. Then, of course, you can't forget about forcing in an MLM. We found these amazing oils we're going to use to keep him healthy. You should really buy some O. I've got samples right here. The lavender oil worked so well, to get rid of my gonorrhea. I can't show you that it really works, because the government restricts me from finding the real Google results that say, that vaccines are actually very bad, and that the oil helps you a lot, and if you ask the doctor, he is dumb, he spent half of his life to study, and yet says, that vaccines are good, while I had hours of research on the anti-vax simpletons forum and a lot of people say, that vaccines are actually bad and they cause autism, actually bad Anne. 